Hey everyone, Merry Christmas Eve and Merry Christmas Day. This is my last video. We made it. Can you believe it? I am like, wow, between the fires and the my kids getting sick and everything else that's happened this December, I am like surprised that I have made it. So um, I'm not sure I quite did 30, but hopefully I did quote <laughs> close enough to it. So before it gets crazy, I just wanted to tell you what we do for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And then I just want to give you a little message to say Merry Christmas. But first of all, um, okay, so Christmas Eve, what we'll do is we will go to a candlelight service. Usually it's about 4 or 5 p.m. And a candlelight service is where we will have a singing and we'll have a message, like a usually a smaller message than a normal sermon, which is a full length Oh gosh, in my church, 40 to minutes to an hour sermon. And then we light candles and we'll sing Silent Night. Um, I love that tradition. It is probably my favorite time of the whole entire Christmas season. Um, it fills me with joy and peace and just renews me and gets me ready for the next year. And I love it. And then I actually host Christmas Eve this year. So they're all going to come back here. And we're actually going to have Mexican fair this year because my uh, kids are from Mexico or three of them are of Mexican heritage. So um, they we're going to have tamales and beans and rice. And I'm going to try to make um, a, like tortillas with cinnamon and sugar on them and so we'll just have a good time and then we usually have a happy birthday Jesus cake and so we'll sing happy birthday to Jesus and blow the candles out and so Christmas Eve to us is really about Jesus and focusing on kind of what we call the reason for the season um, and then on Christmas Day it's going to be fun and cultural and just like the normal Christmas Day so we'll get up we'll open stockings we always get Starbucks it's a tradition in our family and then we go over to my mom's house and all of us get together so it'll be like about 20 of us a lot of Americans have to go to several families but I am very blessed that my in-laws and my parents both get along. And so we all come to um, my mom's house and we'll open presents and then we'll have a very normal Christmas dinner with um, turkey and ham and green beans and stuffing and sweet potatoes. And um, you guys asked me to take pictures, so maybe I'll do a slideshow or something on the Christmas dinner. Um, but before it all starts and before it gets crazy, I just wanted to take a moment and just Thank you all. Thank you all for trusting me with your English learning. Thank you to those who have been my students for almost three years now. I can't even believe I've known some of you for that long. Um, I just want to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. I hope you take a moment and um, if you celebrate Christmas, stop what you're doing and just think about this amazing God that loves and adopted you and became um, your source of joy and peace and happiness. And for those of you who do not celebrate Christmas and do not know Jesus, I invite you to come talk to me. I'm always open. I'm more than happy to talk private message or whatever. I also have a Bible study group on WeChat. You're more than welcome to join it. So just know that I am here to help you in your journey and in your faith. If you ever have a question, just please come to me and to all of you, have a very, very Merry Christmas. I'm going to take a week off and just enjoy my kids and relax and not do anything. So I will be back after the first of the year and we will start new with everything again. I'm really, really hoping and praying that I can get back to my group this year. That is my big hope, guys. So, you know, just pray that I can do this. If not, I am going to continue to do videos and um, I have some plans for that. So, um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I will see you after the first of the year. Bye, everyone.